I ate John again to play Immaculate Grid, going for the low time, going for the low rarity score. Flubbed a little bit on the uh, the timed version yesterday. I I got there. It was just over a minute. Um, but it was it was it was fairly easy categories. And I think I don't know. I think it was just overload. It was just like making sure I didn't uh, I I didn't step on a landmine like putting Palmero or Rose in the Hall of Fame or something like that. Um, ended up with I think a five ish rarity score if I recall correctly. Um. Those those no team categories are a lot of fun. Sounds like it, it is it is it every Saturday. I should really keep track of this, but it seems like it's every Saturday that they do no teams. So um, let's see what Sunday has to bring. I'm going to share my screen and just get right into it. Hit and refresh. What is this? That's the hit list from yesterday. All right. Low value production, folks. Hit and refresh, hit and go, and away we go. All right, that's Frank Robinson. That's Dave Parker. Let's get Adam Dunn. Let's get Ripken. Clemente. Harper. All right. Um uh, Brady Anderson, Stargell, and Vladimir Guerrero. 45 seconds. Let's see. So Tim uh, Harper over Tim Raines. Pete Rose leading. He only played about a season for the Expos. But I had the most popular for these six. I had, I, had, I had these six most popular in their locations, and I used Harper, but over here. Um, which I guess Harper only had, I think, the one... Well, now he might have had a couple with uh, with Washington. Um, 300 seasons is what I'm talking about. Reigns is a, a solid choice as well. What was Harper for that one? 11%. Um, I guess there haven't been that many 30 home run seasons in the combined history. 16, so I should... Well, 16 players and probably more combined seasons so i should be able to come up with somebody and this is only after uh this is sunday morning it's about uh eight o'clock on the east coast so a couple hours uh into this round of immaculate grid so the sample size is pretty small it'd be interesting to see um yeah i i think uh you know adam and the team over at uh baseball reference have better things to do but it'd be interesting to see um and and this is something I should just remember. I think from like a high school statistics class of like what sam at what sample size does the does the curve pretty much level off, assuming a relatively uniform distribution of of guessers. One could argue that people who play this first thing in the morning are maybe more avid fans. I I don't know if that's true, but um, you know, the ten thousand people who played would they skew more? more knowledgeable and therefore warp the rarity scores. Um, I, I've definitely seen it before where, um, you know, I'll play someone earlier in the day and then my rarity score will drop by like a point, but not, not much more than that. Um, be interesting to see like, at what point does the curve level off? Anyway, let's go into sharing. That looks like that grid from yesterday. And we'll hit refresh on our Chrome one that provides advertisements for everybody. I'm not brought to you by any of these companies. All right, so for 300 average in a season, man, I don't, I don't know that I have guys for these two. I believe my guy was Joe Crisp. 0.02. I don't think that's always been his picture. I think they, uh, I don't think they had a picture for him. I wonder if this, this, because 0.02 is still low, but um, let's see, if we're talking about 10,000 people, then that means, um, let's see, 2% two, 2 would be, um, come on, John, 2% 2, 2 would be 200. Um, so 
Okay, so I guess I, only two people have have actually played this game. So just kidding. It's not, it hasn't got more popular. It's just the sample size is pretty small. So two people have played Yo Crisp so far. I was but I was gonna say I think Immaculate Grid might have shot up his popularity. Maybe I could take credit for it even. Um, oh, let's see here. Let's let's head uh, over here. We know we've got Jose Guillen will work here. Um. This is a David Wells combo. I don't know how popular that's going to be. David Wells, Boomer Wells. People know Boomer Wells. He was he was a guy. <laughs> he was a personality. Um, let's see, thirty home runs for the Pirates. Um, do you have anybody? I'm trying to think if there well, there was anybody who hit over thirty home runs for the Pirates until like the the like Kiner. Um. If there there were, um, then I'm not I I'm not remembering them. You get Ralph. Kine I I believe you actually get Frank Thomas. So maybe I play him here instead of there because he'll also work over here. I could play Jose Guillen there. Um. And then you know, after that, I mean Stargell, um, Clemente. I think maxed out at twenty nine. Um. Who else? And then you get into Dave Parker will work. I want to say he had a couple 30 home run seasons in the late 70s. Uh, Bonilla Bonds. Um, I think Kevin Young works. Uh, McCutcheon works. Bay works. Um, Pedro Alvarez. I think would be a decent choice, even with the recency bias. Gosh, I'm pretty sure Frank Thomas does work. The David Walls over here. About three percent. Okay, I already, I already blew it. Oh well. Not blew it. I, I shouldn't say that. I know people are playing three percent a, a good score, and you should be excited about that score because it's it's a low number. It means you probably didn't get one of the top ten choices. Um, well, depending on on this one, maybe this is just inside the top ten. Um, so don't feel bad about a three percent. But I've I've been playing this daily, um, live, and and now I've gotten to the point where I see three percent. I'm like, ah, oh, I could not be better than that. I don't know. Would Lee may have been better? Uh, cause he'll work. Um, yeah, there's options, but why dwell? Um, let's see, Jim Gentile, whose name I didn't know how to pronounce until I started playing these grids and seeing it in the comments. So thanks for that, guys. Um, I don't believe Ken Singleton works. Murray will work. Ripken works. I'm not gonna play either of those guys. Brady Anderson was up there. Um, BJ Surhoff, I want to say got to like 28 one year. Albert Bell will work. Um, 1999 season for Albert Bell. 99, the Orioles had a bunch of big hitters and finished with a losing record. It's amazing those the 98 99 Orioles teams weren't better. They had a lot of talent on those teams. 96 97 teams made the playoffs, and I thought they were gonna build on that. When I start first started following baseball, the Orioles were the elite regular season team. They probably only won like 96 or so games that year, but that was the, I, I guess that's not true. The Braves were the elite team. They were on TBS and everything, but in the American League, the, the Orioles had the best record. Um, I believe, I think Tony Batista might work. Miguel Tejada will certainly work. Um, Palmero will work. Jim Gentile is going to be the best of everyone I've listed so far. 2%. And there were 16 choices down here, apparently, for the uh, next was I want to say Larry Parrish gets there in like 79. It's 2% as well. Um, Let's see. 
I know Mark Grezelotic hit just over 300 in the 96 season and was an all-star for it. Let's see how that does. Goes sub one. Not bad. All right. How do we feel about Little Poison, Lloyd Wayner? One percenter. Really does look like his brother a lot. Which is, I guess, to be expected. Let's throw Jose Gian. Actually, let's throw Jose Gian down here. I think I can do better. Goes 0.5 there. Let's see. Reds and Pirates. Because I'm thinking... I'm trying to think of anybody else who's gotten to 30 home runs. I think Frank Thomas, the first, will work. And and then I'm I'm trying to think if I have someone better queued up for for Reds Pirates. Um there's gotta be hundreds of choices. These teams go all the way back. Um rivals in a sense. They played each other in the playoffs for much of the uh much of the seventies. Um I'm trying to think because I wrote about this in my book. There was a relief pitcher I thought that was part of the Arch Shamsky game. Um was it Roy something? Ah, there's been too many Roy's. I don't know why I thought that was going to be Roy S something. I'll have to look that up. I, I I thought there was a relief pitcher. I thought his name was Roy, who fe figured very heavily into the Art Shamsky game, where he hit three clutch home runs and three at bats, um, late in the game between the uh the Pirates and Reds. But I'm not I'm not remembering. Actually, was it Roy F. Something? That guy. I kind of think that's right. Why not? Nope, wasn't him. Frank Thomas. Actually, let's play Frank Thomas over here. Let's see if I was right about that. I don't know why I thought that was worth the risk. 1% on Frank Thomas. Well, I, I think he definitely fa figured into the game very heavily, but not he was not the guy that played for... Did Art himself play for both teams? I played for the Mets. Nah. I must be thinking of someone else. That's all right. I'll take it. Sunday loss. This was an easy one, too. I just... I was right about Frank Thomas, though. He was a one percenter. So I, I wasn't rocking like a crazy good score either, but I or I was gonna be over ten, but that's all right. Really should have just played him here and gone with uh I don't know what who else now I'm curious. Sixteen choices. I got I mentioned Pedro Alvarez. Brian Giles, I glossed up. Jeff King I could have gotten. Jason Thompson, I was not gonna get this one. Stewart, Frank Thomas twice, and Ralph Kiner a bunch of times. Other than that, Jason Thompson I didn't mention, Brian Giles I didn't mention, Aramis Ramirez I didn't mention. Um, Giles I knew, Ramirez I knew. Reggie Sanders, I didn't realize he had a 31 home run season in 2003. I knew he played for the Pirates and he would have worked here. So maybe that's who I should have gone with. Old Reliable. McCutcheon, Alvarez, Bell. Not a lot lately. Not Kevin Young. All right. Well, we'll call it there. A little bit of a bummer that I uh, took an unnecessary risk. I'm trying to remember who I was even thinking of, but it's all right. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll read my book. I'll, I'll, I'll try to remember the guy I was thinking of. But uh, uh, thanks so much for playing, and uh, we'll be back at it later. Peace.